first DVD is the three disc ultimate edition of Last House on the left. Um, this one is an excellent edition. For, so naturally I wanted to upgrade from the Region 1 collector's edition. The Region 1 release just has an audio commentary with the actors from the film, a featurette with Craven, um, a documentary uh, scoring Last House uh, featurette, an unfinished short film from Craven, deleted scenes, and a never before seen footage sync. Now the three disc one is way better. It carries over the same commentary from the Region 1 release, but it also includes a commentary with Craven and Sean S. Cunningham, the producer of the film. And obviously we know Sean S. Cunningham is directing uh, Friday the 13th, the original. Got some TV spots on here, radio spots, the uh, theatrical trailer. Now the second disc says that it's a complete alternate cut of the film, or rare alternate cut of the film. It's world exclusive never before seen footage only recently discovered so that should be interesting to see the third disc is the going to pieces documentary rise and fall of the slasher film which i highly recommend everybody check out as opposed to the really bad recyclable case that is the region one really this one's just incredible yeah it's really nice here's the entire fold out very nice very very nice and then there's the background, some great stuff. This release is just excellent. I really especially like that about the second disc, how the disc art matches up with the artwork on the background. I think that's really cool. So when you move the disc, you know, you still got the same artwork, but it matches on the disc. That's cool. Oh yeah, one last thing. I highly recommend, again, this uh, Going to Pieces documentary. It's one of the best slasher documentaries I've ever seen. Just get it. Okay, now we have the Region 2 Limited Edition Steelbook for the crazies and this thing is just beautiful and it's limited edition to I think 1500 pieces um, so yeah 1500 editions were made uh, oh first of all it's an anamorphic widescreen and the transfer is beautiful the features include um, I think it's got an audio commentary with Romero an exclusive audio commentary with uh, Lynn Lawry I think it's that's how you say her name Lynn Lawry I think I don't know. Anyway, it's got another um, special introduction with her, which is really cool. It comes on right before the film. Exclusive 45-minute uh, featurette on the career of Lynn Lawry. The name of the uh, featurette is called The Mute Hippie Girl on Acid with Rabies. Let me repeat. <laughs> the Mute Hippie Girl on Acid with Rabies. How cool is that title? It's got his filmography, and then it's got about eight trailers from his various films. Uh, photo gallery, trailers, TV spots, all that good stuff. So, yeah. Here's a look at the inside. They did a great job on the artwork. Really, really good job. The inside of the booklet is just beautiful. Oh yeah, and a quick look at the back. Sorry about that. Following up a uh, film with a similar theme to it, uh, or at least with the biohazard uh, artwork. Limited edition of 28 Days Later. The slipcover on this thing has a really nice texture to it. It feels uh, rough, not like most slip cases. Um, here's the back of the slip case. Two discs. Very nice. Uh, loaded with features. Um, this comes with a uh, booklet that includes the first chapter of the 28 Days Later Aftermath uh, graphic novel. Here's the chapter selection. The booklet, the back of it, and the inside. Probably not doing this thing justice, but it's excellent. Definitely a fun read. It's excellent. And the features are exactly the same as the uh, Region 1 release, which I'm not going to read off. I'm just being lazy. Sorry. Another limited edition I'm just adding to the collection is the Teeth, the one with the X-ray cover. This is the Region uh, 2 release. The out-of-print uh, Region 1 release is from Dimension Extreme. Um, it's not too expensive. You can still find that one if you want it, but I recommend getting this one. I laid the movie down so I can show you guys the effect real quick. Here's the little X-ray effect. It eliminates the case, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Here's the back of the case. It's got a director's commentary behind the scenes, deleted scenes with uh, director's commentary. And it's a fun movie for what it is. You're pretty much getting a chick with the teeth in her vagina, so that's pretty much what it is. Um, nothing more, nothing less. She just learns to cope with it, and I would like to see a part two. I know when it came out um, and premiered at the film festivals or whatever, they, it was a really good response on the movie, and they were saying that it was going to be a sequel, but that talk has pretty much died down since this movie came out. So, I don't know. I would like to see it too, but again, it's not the most amazing film in the world. It's just fun to watch, I guess.
Okay, now I got some lynch. You guys know I like my lynch. I need me lynch. I upgraded from this Region 1 DVD right here to the Region 2. Okay, a quick story with this Region 2 DVD. I bought this from Amazon UK, brand new, and it arrived and it was open and it was missing the 16 page booklet that was supposed to be inside. And then I'm like, where's the second disc? But if I had looked a little closer, it's right underneath this one. So yeah, it comes out like that. I'm still missing my booklet. So I sent an email to Amazon UK. They, they reply back, look how long this thing is. And they explained, you know, why I got an unsealed uh, DVD, how it wasn't their fault. They don't do business that way and that kind of thing. So, but bottom line, they gave me the DVD for free. So that's awesome. I might be getting rid of this one. There is a two disc limited edition steel book out there. That the region two release comes with the 15 minute documentary featuring interviews with Lynch, Hopper, and the producer strange desires which is a 30 minute making of featurette original theatrical trailer and exclusive 16 page book clip which i do not have now the region one is pretty good on features but it could be better like the region two is a mysteries of love documentary and deleted scenes montage the siskel and ebert review of blue velvet which is hilarious i think if you haven't seen blue velvet you owe it to yourself to see this film everything from when kyle mclaughlin finds the cut off ear in the grass and Right then you think, you know things are going to go awry. Dennis Hopper's, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. He's got Isabella Rossellini at his uh, beck and call. I mean, he's doing any and every disgusting sexual thing he wants to or so. I mean, this is a great film though. Um, definitely, it's got, it's got its extreme moments, I'd say. But uh, nothing too extreme. So yeah, get Blue Velvet. Another much needed upgrade would be from the terrible Mulholland Drive Region 1. This thing is awful. Maybe it's just my DVD. I don't know. I can't skip chapters. There is no chapter selection on the main menu. It has bonus uh, bonus material section like there is some bonus features. This is bare bones. There are no features. It's really bad release. The quality is good, of course, but uh, as good as it can be for a DVD. It doesn't come with anything but this David Lynch's 10 Clues to Unlocking this Thriller thing right here. It's just got his 10 Clues. And if you, I recommend you reading this after you see the film. Um, go back and then watch it again. And I really love this. Check that out. That's really cool. I like that. She is stunning. <laughs> I like how the discs just slide in this thing. There is nothing holding the discs. If you guys can see that. There, you got the booklet right here for the film. It's got the... The main man himself, Lynch, on there. Here's the uh, 10 clues that I was talking about on the Region 1 chapter insert. More pictures of Lynch. Lots and lots of information. As far as features go, you got the chapter selection approved by Lynch. Finally got some, ch some chapter selections. Uh, the making of Mulholland Drive. Interviews with uh, Lynch, Naomi Watts, and various other people from the cast. Press conference at Cannes Film Festival. Island Empire preview, the trailer, and the booklet. You need to check this film out. You owe it to yourself to see this one too. It's a very nice film. Um, here's a movie that I've been meaning to buy for ages and they never released it on uh, Region 1 DVD. This is the Region 2 DVD of Dark Angel or known Region 1 on VHS as uh, I Come in Peace. The funnest horror sci-fi action flick I can think of or that I own um, next to a movie like The Hidden. There are no features on this, but I'm just happy to finally own the DVD of this movie. It's such a fun movie. Um, this film never slows down. I highly, highly, highly recommend anybody who's interested in this movie to check it out. It is excellent. So much fun. The funnest movie you'll see, I think. Last film up is Sukiyaki Western Django. This is the Steelbook. I got this for 25 cents on Amazon. New, so that was awesome. There are two more of these uh, with different covers. Uh, I may get those in the future. Um, I have the one disc edition. Oh, there's the inside. There's a look without the disc. I won't even try at all to even explain the story of this movie because it's kind of complicated in parts. It does have its moments. There are some ridiculous scenes, but still fun scenes where there's like swords stopping bullets, that kind of thing. But it's got a lot of really cool sequences. Um, I think you guys would like this movie. It does have Quentin Tarantino in it. Um, his character is very funny to me. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie. Definitely worth checking out. Special features or previews, uh, trailers, deleted scenes, and a making of featurette. So not a whole lot, but still a nice steel book to have in the collection. Now I got to thank uh, all my new subscribers, um, anybody who's checked my channel out, left a comment, 
watched any of my videos, added me as a friend, any of that stuff, and even putting me on their featured channels list. I thank everybody for all the support and help and everything. I appreciate you guys' comments. You guys are awesome. Um, and I'll see you guys later. One more thing. Um, I did get a couple of questions about my VHS and betas. Um, I will be doing a video on these soon. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take, but as you can see, I have quite a few to go through, so it's going to take a while. Uh, it'll probably be up in parts. I'm not sure when I'll have that video up, but I've just been going through all these and finding all my old horror memorabilia and stuff, posters and various other things. So you'll see a video on this stuff uh, soon, but not sure when. Um, yeah, you guys stay tuned for that.